All right, YouTubers, so I've got some great news. The 2x72 bell grinder mechanically is finished, and I've been able to um, you know, hook it up and, and test it out, and it is incredible. So um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the uh, belt grinder here. Um, the overall specs is I've got three inch wheels on the front here. I've got a four inch tracking wheel. I have an eight inch drive wheel, 3600 RPM, three horsepower motor. I have an Invertec E3 drive powering the whole system. And I'm gonna do a lot more videos on the Invertec and the advantages of that, but right now I don't have that fully finished. Um, I'm gonna set up some switches here for forward, reverse, on, off with a potentiometer. Um, and I gotta hook up the fuses and all that stuff. So um, that's gonna, there will be more videos to come on this series, but for now, I wanted to just, you know, finally give kind of like a wrap up on the mechanical build because I now have the full set of prints available at bexarmory.com. And for the first, I haven't even decided if I'm gonna do the first month or the first 50 people, um, it's going to be a super, super reduced rate because I wanna kind of give back to those of you who've been following this video series. Um, so I'm gonna give an opportunity, you know, at the very beginning for those of you who follow along the entire build, if you wanna get a set of prints, they're gonna be extremely, uh, low cost. I'm talking like less than a buck um, on the website. Now, that's for a limited time only because I do have hundreds and hundreds of dollars in this. I've got, you know, six months of planning and ordering and, you know, I, I don't even know how many hours of labor and video editing. So um, that's just kind of like, and the thing is, is all of this information is available for free. You don't have to buy the, the set of prints. Um, I documented every single part of this whole entire build. Um, and you can just go back on the YouTube channel and you can watch it for free. So if you want to support the channel, you know, buying a set of prints for 99 cents on the website, it's just a way, you know, to like toss a tip into the tip jar, you know? That's kind of basically what that is. Um, so without, I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna see how this thing performs. Cause once I turn it on, you know, it'll be hard to talk over it. So. Important thing, always uh, have uh, your protective gear. And it's not that loud, you won't, you don't really need um, hearing protection, but you know, for YouTube's sake, let's put it on. All right, so first demonstration, we are going to balance this dime on the tool arm, which it's hard enough to you know get it balanced there. I'm gonna balance this at 7,000 surface feet per minute. So I'm gonna bring you in closer. We're gonna balance this dime at 7,000 surface feet. All right, so hopefully you've been able to see the crazy raw performance that a belt grinder as simple as this can produce. I mean, this for the most part was made with a tape measure 
and a hand drill. Um, the, the thing about this design is it doesn't require perfection to have success, all right? You know, there's a lot of features that this doesn't have because you don't really need them. Um, you know, and the whole goal with this build was to keep it simple, 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 um, because that allows the maximum number of people to build it and to get into this, um, you know, space um, of having a belt grinder because it is one of the most useful tools, you know, in my entire shop. Before this, I had the Harbor Freight um, 4x36, I think, um, belt grinder, and I still have it over there. I use that thing all the time. If I was in the shop making anything, I was using that at least one time during the project. So having a good quality belt grinder is paramount. Um, and so, and, and the, the reason this is so um, easy to build is because basically you're using stock sizes, right? So you don't have to square things up. The actual sizes of the material is squaring everything up for you, all right? So, you know, the alignment is pretty easy because it, it's, because of how it's designed, it pretty much, everything aligns itself. I don't even have crowned wheels. I have every single drive wheel, every single wheel, whether it's an idler or a drive wheel, is flat. None of them are coned, and you don't need to cone them unless, you know, that just compensates for, for bad um, assembly practices or bad machining practices. So if you make everything straight, you don't need coned wheels. You don't need coned wheels, especially a tracking wheel. So also, um, I have more than one set of holes in here because a lot of the wheels you buy are two inch wheels. Um, I went with three inch wheels here in the front because I don't want to be roasting the bearings constantly, right? So the surface feet on, if, if you have a larger wheel, the surface of this um, can move faster with the RPMs actually going slower. And that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but trust me, your bearings will last a lot longer if you have three inch wheels instead of two inch wheels. Um, a lot of people, I don't know where you buy the three inch wheels. Someday I might make them and sell them on the website, but at, right now I've got too many projects to do that. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. If you would like a set of these prints, head over to Bex on Rebay, link to the download in the description of this video um, for that. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I love talking with you guys. Um, I have learned a lot from the YouTube community and this is my way of giving back. So thank you for watching. If you've gotten anything out of this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends who are interested in building belt grinders, and subscribe for the evolution of this belt grinder. It's not going to stay this way. You guys know me. I can't leave anything alone. I always have to modify, modify, modify. That's who I am. This thing is going to go through some transitions. I'm probably going to make additional accessories for it. Um, I'm going to explain the VFD and the motor in more depth giving you links to where you can purchase that stuff. Um, I'm going to show the wiring of the switches and all that stuff. So there's a lot more of this project to come. So to see that, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're notified of future video uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.